All right, for you two girls and never dated a Middle Eastern man, here's what I recommend. Start with a half first, see if you like it. See if you like it. Dip your toe before you dive all the way in, okay? <laughs> that is Kayvon, the half Persian, half Caucasian comedian that uses his multicultural background to unite people over laughter. Yes, and his unique style of comedy was actually featured on Last Comic Standing, MTV, Netflix, Showtime, and a host of other specials. And you can also catch him in his act this weekend at Punch Line Philly. So I want to welcome to you all. Uh, Kayvon, welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be here. How are and you? I think you better come to the show because it's a Sunday show, all ages, and it's at a time where you can still be up early for the news. Ooh, That's I true. love mm -hmm. that. And right. way to put us on the spot, right? I know, right? <laughs> you can see the time we wake up. You're gonna see these beautiful people at the show. Aww. It's hard to wake up this early because I just came in from Los Angeles today. Oh really? my goodness. Yeah, I left and they canceled so many different flights and they still it was funny, the announcement was, Could you please uh put your uh phone in airplane mode? I'm like, Can we put the plane in airplane mode? <laughs> I'm right. I gotta get to Philadelphia. I know, right? Can yes. you actually put the plane in the air? Let's go, man. Right? So, I love it. How would you uh, describe your comedic style? Uh, well, I tend to make fun of myself a lot because in this day and age, the political environment, it, you're going to get in trouble. Yeah. You start making fun of other people, but no one can get mad if you make fun of yourself. I'm sure they'll find a way. Like, Excuse me, stop. You're being very hard on yourself. <laughs> but so far, that's been a good place to, to do it. And I have a unique background. My dad is Middle Eastern. My mom's regular white. <laughs> yeah. Regular white. Regular white. No, no extra flavors. And I always say it's so funny, but my dad's accent has always been something fun. Whenever we get bad grades growing up, he's like, don't get bad grades. You could work at the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it was always one, like the McDonald. The yeah, That's I'm right. like the McDonald, Dad. Where's the? He's like, you know the McDonald next to the Starbucks. So, <laughs> oh my God! I mean, but that inspired you, right? But it's, it was so funny around the house that I was like, this is going in the book. <laughs> and when we got good grades, he would take us to the McDonald. So that's how we oh. knew we did well. So okay. you, like in a lot of your um, material that I've been watching, you include your family a lot. But do they ever take offense to some of the things that you're saying? If they do, they don't tell me because <laughs> comedy's hard enough. You don't want your family heckling you too. Right. And it, it's been it's been really good. I wrote a whole book just making fun of my own family. It's called Once You Go Persian, and it's a survival guide. It tells you everything you need to know if you decide to hang out with Persians. Like you might find it relatable. It, if it says if you want to go to a party, never show up on time. You'll be the only person. <laughs> with the Persian. Oops, isn't there something like that yes, in other yes, cultures? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And another one. <laughs> but here's the thing: if you want to leave a Persian party on time, you, you have, have to kiss everybody before you're allowed to go. What? On the cheek, on the cheek right? There. Yeah, yeah, you know the cheek. <laughs> See, and, and the men, the women, the children, the dog, everybody gets a kiss before the door unlocks, like a video game. And what's cool too is that um, you also produced a documentary too, right? Yes, I made a documentary about being Middle Eastern doing comedy. They don't really comedy's not a big thing yet, and we're trying to bridge it. And I'm the American side. They're usually dancing with tambourines, and I'm like, let's add comedy to it, because you can only dance to so much tambourine, in my opinion. Exactly. That's true. So we do know that you have your show coming up this Sunday, but while you're here in Philly, what are you most looking forward to do here? Well, you tell me. I mean, cheese that's what i got to find out. You got to say. No, I'm looking for wedding rings right now. <laughs> oh, oh, in Philadelphia. Okay. We actually do okay. have some single ladies who work mm -hmm. here, oh. so uh, they're upstairs in our we newsroom. We see them. We see them. She's married. Don't look at the weather. Don't look at the weather. No, 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 no. The weather, you, you know what? Every time you go to a new town, the weather women are beautiful. Good Aww. job, Philly. Good yes. job. Yeah. Good job, Monica. Yeah, good job. Monica. Monica's like, uh. <laughs> well, okay, Bob, right? we definitely appreciate you coming in. And hey, guys, make sure you go check out his performance. It is mm -hmm. this Sunday at Punchline Philly. It's at 4 p.m. If you'd like more information on the tickets, it's Punchline Philly. Dot com. And so you know what? You. Message me. We're going to give away 10 free tickets to oh. anyone that messages your two names. Yeah, they message oh. that this PHL 17, baby. PHL oh, 17. Right. PHL 17. I like oh, you for a comment. Oh, no. <laughs> we appreciate okay, well, you. Thank so you so much. much. We'll be back right after a short break.